Hello and welcome to my quarantine kitchen. Today I'd like to show you how to make an apple tart. So basically there's two steps to an apple tart or crumble. Firstly you need apples. You can use any uh, apple, Granny Smith or the red ones are fine. You need a cinnamon stick or a teaspoon of cinnamon powder if you have. Half a cup of sugar and a cup of water. You can use brown sugar if you have. If you don't, white sugar is just fine. So now we're going to cook the apples in all of these ingredients and I'm going to show you what it looks like in a while. Now for the crumble or the pastry, we're going to need one egg, butter or margarine, vanilla essence, baking powder, cake flour and some sugar. I have the pot on the stove. I'm going to add a cup of water, a cinnamon stick, half a cup of sugar, and this is the apple that I have cored, chopped and diced and we're going to put that into the water. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Stop it. So the apple has been cooking in the sugar syrup for about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like. There's still a lot of liquid in it. So I'm going to take this off the heat now and strain it. Because we only need the apple, we don't need the syrup. And then you can remove the cinnamon stick when you're done. So for the pastry, I have 125 grams of butter, which I've tried to soften. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of sugar, I'm going, I'm going to cream this and then I'm going to add the egg. To the creamed mixture, I'm going to add an egg, and 5 ml of vanilla essence. I'm going to bring all of this together and show you what it looks like now. So this is what the mixture looks like when it has been creamed and brought together with the egg. And now we have two cups of flour here. I'm going to add some baking powder to it. It's five moles, ten moles. And now I'm going to gradually add the flour into this mixture and bring it all together to form a dough. So the dough has come together nicely. Sometimes you might not need all of the flour uh, that I've asked you to use. You can add the flour gradually so that you don't end up with uh, a very dry dough. So I'm going to use a portion, half of that, and I'm going to uh, line it into this uh, little casserole, which I've already sprayed with spray and cook. And uh, I'm going to show you how to bring the entire tart together. The apples have cooled down nicely as well. So I've used a piece of dough and I've molded it into this uh, casserole. You'll see there's, there's a lot of leftover dough. You can actually make another one. Uh, I'm going to poke some holes in here. That just ensures that it cooks through and through. And then I'm going to add the cooked apple which has cooled down. And you spread it out nicely. Now whilst you're working with this dough, sometimes it will get uh, a bit too soft. So what you can do is uh, pop it into the fridge or freezer for a while and uh, it'll harden up. Now I, I have used a grater and I've grated some of the dough which gives you a, a little bit of uh, a cheese look. So I'm going to pop that on top. When that bakes, it's going to give it a lovely look. Okay, so we're going to pop this into the oven for about uh, 180 degrees for about uh, 20 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like. So the tart is ready. It's a uh, light brown. Sometimes your oven might temperature might be a little bit different so just keep an eye on it once it's light brown it's done 
Once it's cooled, then we're going to add a bit of icing sugar over it. We can sift the icing sugar. And serve it with a dollop of ice cream. And there you have it. Enjoy.